Hello, everyone. I am Kentia Smith. I am the NC Realtors Housing Foundation Director. I hope you're doing well. As you know, we are filming what we call our Meet Our 2024 series. This is a series for us to learn about our incoming presidents for our local associations, to learn about the work they're doing, as well as educate people on the foundation. Today, I have the pleasure of interviewing the Winston-Salem Association of Realtors 2024 president, Ms. Callie Stone. And Callie, I truly thank you for doing this interview with me. Absolutely. Thank you for having me on here today. No problem. So the first thing I always want to know is, uh, where were you born or are you a native of NC? I am a North Carolina native. I was born in Wilkes County, mm -hmm. um, which is where I still live with my family today. Okay, awesome. So when it comes to real estate, was this your first profession choice or was it kind of something you got into after you had another um, option? Um, I mean, I think HGTV gives everybody the dream of being a real estate agent. So, <laughs> you know, um, watching those shows when I was younger, I thought maybe just maybe this might be something I wanted to do. But, you know, life happened and I actually started out my professional career, adult career in insurance and it was not, I didn't like it that much, to be honest. It wasn't a good fit for me. So um, I had a brief break in employment and I thought, you know what, right now is the time because I'm like super young mm -hmm. and I may never have an opportunity where it's this easy for me to start fresh with something new. So um, I signed up for the real estate class and about three months later, I had a license that I wasn't quite sure what to do with. That's awesome. Now, when did you get your real estate license? So I was licensed in, let's see, 2015. Oh, okay. That is awesome. And so my next question is for someone who really didn't know they wanted to go into real estate to now be an association president, how did you get to that point? Um, so when I got started in real estate, I was a single mom and mm -hmm. I had a very young daughter and I knew that if I wanted to do this, I had to do it mm -hmm. and I had to dig full in. Um, and I was, I had a little bit of luck, but I also had a really hard work ethic and, um, ended up having several sales that happened pretty quickly after getting licensed. And I just kind of mm -hmm. fell in love with it, fell in love with helping the first time home buyers and fell in love with negotiating just the whole process of getting someone into, you know, a home, whether it be their first home or their forever home. And I've often said that has to be a very rewarding feeling um, because, you know, I bought a house when I was um, 25 and there's nothing like when you first turn that key and open your own door to something mm -hmm. you bought. Um, so that's great. And then when you when you thought to be the president of the Winston-Salem Association, how did you get to that point? Um, so my timeline, so to speak, kind of got moved up. Um, our president-elect for this year ended up taking a job with the North Carolina Chamber of Commerce, mm -hmm. and um, we had an opening. So um, I was appointed by our board of directors to fill that role. And then um, at the meeting that you attended, I was voted in by our association to be the next president. So I had a little bit of an unconventional start getting into this role, but I'm really excited. And it's like things kind of fell into place. And you have a great president. I, I love Miss Kathy. She's awesome. So I, I have a, a special place for Winston-Salem Association because y'all are just so amazing. Uh -huh. um, and that kind of leads me to my next question. What is your goals for like being the Winston-Salem president? Or what do you want to continue to kind of foster um, as the 2024 president? I think I'm very lucky because I'm being given so to speak, the association, after it's been in a series of really good hands, mm -hmm. we've had a lot of really good leaders. So, you know, I'm not going into this with, I'm going to change this, 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 and this. I'm just going into it with, I want to leave it better than I found it. Mm -hmm. And I know that we're going to have challenges this year um, with the real estate market. And I just want to be proactive and transparent as possible with our membership and make sure they have the tools they need to succeed in this changing market. That That is awesome. And so 
one of the questions I love to ask people is what do you know about the NC Realtors Housing Foundation? As a director, I am one of the ones who want to really get out to our members who we are, and what we do. And right. so I always ask the interviews, what do you know about the Housing Foundation? So I know that you guys have um, down payment assistance programs. I know you have relief programs. And I know one of your more recent programs is the 100 Homes in 100 Counties. Is that right? Yes, yes. And and I'm so glad you brought those up because we are definitely very proud of the 100 Homes in 100 Counties. And I will be so happy when we find a partner to start in Winston-Salem through you all. But yes, the foundation's biggest goal is to make a difference in the home buying for North Carolinians. Um, we see that there's a need for affordable housing. I know you've probably seen that as a real estate. And so our board biggest thing is to definitely uh, make a mark on that. Also, it's very exciting too. Another reason I'm excited about 2024 is because it'll be the foundation's 20th year. And so I'm ecstatic about that. Um, but I, I I do love that, you know, you do know those things as the president of Winston-Salem Association, because that's a benefit to me as the director for the foundation. And then my um, final question is, what type of community outreach do you all do? As the foundation, you know, we're, we're big into nonprofit community outreach. And I love asking all the different um, presidents, you know, what is the main community outreach that your uh, association likes to focus on? So we do um, Winston-Salem itself. It partners with the Winston-Salem Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, they do a lot of the backpack food programs and things mm -hmm. of that nature. Um, our Lexington County chapter, they do a lot of um, like trash pickup, things of that nature. Um, and our Wilkes County chapter has been focusing a lot the past couple of years on our homeless community. Mm -hmm. And I, since I'm from Wilkes County, you know, I know everything we do in Wilkes County, basically. And one of the things that we've worked on is um, free laundry days. Mm. So we have a realtor who leads our community involvement committee here in Wilkes. Mm -hmm. And she does it every month. The association partners with her twice a year. And um, anyone who is homeless or of that nature that needs help with laundry assistance. Um, we have church fans who go and pick up the people from their homeless tent communities and bring them in. There's normally a um, catered lunch. Um, and when I say catered, it's um, businesses who are giving back. Some of our local businesses will send sandwiches or Chick-fil-A trays. The churches participate with it. So it's really become an initiative that has brought in a lot of people to work together. I I think that's amazing. And I know your um I know your member who does the laundry program. I previously worked with the homelessness and me and her had a conversation to, a chance to talk. I think that is an amazing thing that she's doing. Often, you know, I know with working with the homeless, they do um sometimes don't have the means to keep their clothes up. Mm -hmm. or to, you know, keep them clean. So a lot of times, you know, they discard those. So to have that support to do that is awesome. I, I think that is amazing to be doing. Um, I guess my one question is, what is the homeless situation like in Wilkes County? We have a very large homeless population here in Wilkes County. It's, it's really sad. There are several tent communities um, around, um, you know, we do have our homeless shelter just had their ribbon cutting and open back up. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that is available, but they are available on limited hours and you're only available to stay there for so many nights a year. Um, we do have resources for them, but not enough. Yeah. And and it's, it's, it's so truthful that a lot of times, you know, even with all the resources, because here in Guilford County, mm -hmm. just like you all, we have a lot of churches and um, small nonprofits who really are like working hard with our homeless population. And it was interesting. You said, you know, the churches bring a lot of food because when we would do things with my previous company, we had so much support from our religious community that mm -hmm. stepped up, made blessing bags, bought sleeping bags. So it's, it's a major problem, but it, it's, it's often great when you see the community trying to make a difference. Now are we going to change it or end it in the next 
five months or something? No, but those little small things can help make a difference. So I think that is an awesome thing to be doing, um, especially like I said. And when I was at your last meeting, you all had another um, county join Winston-Salem's association, correct? We did. Um, so I believe within the past two weeks, we signed paperwork. And I think, you know, they're just working through red tape at um, Secretary of State and NC Realtors. But Surrey County will be merging with okay. Winston Salem. I, so thought, I thought that I remember that. Mm -hmm. We're really thrilled to bridge that gap between Wilkes and uh, Winston and Lexington. So we'll be like a straight shot across 421. That is awesome. And before I wrap up, I don't put this question on there, but I always ask it. As we move into the fall and the holiday season, what is that one thing that kind of makes you know it's like fall and ready to be cozy? Is it a, a food you love to cook? Or, you know, what is that one thing that Callie loves and lets her know the fall and the winter season is coming? When... um dips are on the menu for every Sunday because it's football season. <laughs> <laughs> the crock pot dips are what is a constant hit once football starts. So <laughs> I kind of know it's oh, that time. Are you into football? I'm not, but my husband is. Oh, okay. 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 Well, that that's, that's awesome. Then I love a good uh, Buffalo chicken dip. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I want to thank you again so much for doing this interview with me. Like I said, I think you're a phenomenal. I think you're going to be a great president. Um, Winston-Salem, like you said, has some phenomenal leaders and you're joining a team of just great leadership. And so I truly want to thank you for doing this interview with me. Absolutely. Thank you for having me on here today. And I look forward to our continued partnership throughout next year. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.